Hey, hey, what's up, Smoke Nation? Zach here today, and you are present to witness a very monumental occasion in my life. Today, I got my brand new Blackstone four burner griddle. It's huge. And today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting it set up and we are gonna season this bad boy. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you the proper way to do it. I'm gonna talk to you about some mistakes to avoid and we're gonna make sure this thing is ready to cook. And we're gonna get to that right now. All right, so one of the main things that I'm really excited about I'm a little bit of a dork. If you knew me better, you'd probably know I was a dork. But I'm a little bit of a dork, and something I really like to do is I like to take these little papers off. Whether it's a cell phone or grill, the stuff that's on it at the store, you know? The stuff that lets you know it's brand new. Look at all the stuff I'm gonna be able to make. Got steaks, and fish, and bread, and vegetables, and bacon, and eggs, and sauces, and chicken, and pancakes, and all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Mine will look better than that though, for sure. So will yours. All right, so first of all, let's get into the fact that this came from a factory. It was shipped from a factory to your home. And in the process, there probably was some yuck got on it. You wanna just get a little bit of warm, soapy water. You're gonna wet your paper towel, and we're just gonna go around this thing, and we're gonna make sure that if there's any old chemicals or anything on there that we're just sort of sopping them up, like sopping up gravy with a beef. Get it nice and clean, because we're fixing to burn it in, baby. We're gonna burn it in. And whatever we burn on, whether it's grease, or whether it's formaldehyde, it's gonna be on there. We don't want no formaldehyde tacos. Y'all might like some out of tacos, I don't know. I tried them a few times, I almost died. I decided never again, no matter how good they tasted. Find a couple little spots where there's a little adhesive or just some buildup of some kind on there. And you can see my paper towel, barely even can tell I did anything. So it's just more of a precautionary thing. You wanna get a couple dry paper towels. Wipe that down, get that soap residue off. And I didn't use any like real strong soap. I just used a little Dawn dishwashing detergent. That is about it, it, it. And anything else that's been left on there is gonna burn off. So you might have noticed I look a little different. I have decided to go to the portion of the show where I'm gonna be using two cameras. <laughs> I don't know how people make videos by themselves and have two cameras and you never see the other camera. So you're gonna see my camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's turn this bad boy on. Push to turn, really easy, lights up really nicely. Because I've been told by people with experience that you don't want to just heat this up fully right off the bat because it is something that can warp your steel and you don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it run for a few minutes on medium and then we're gonna crank it on up. While we're waiting, I wanna talk to you about a few of the products I've picked up that I've got back here behind my griddle, and that is the Blackstone seasoning. That's what we're gonna be using today. I've got a bunch of it because I had to spend $50 to get free shipping. And this is a proprietary blend. A lot of people say that you can use avocado oil, coconut oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, any sort of olive oil that you wanna use, but this is a proprietary blend of several different types of oil that Blackstone recommends to get the best polymerization on top of your rolled steel surface that will allow you to have the best non-stick surface possible. And if you're cooking on a Blackstone and Blackstone recommends this is the best way to do it, who are you gonna trust? The people who make these things professionally or somebody else? You can make that choice on your own. I am choosing to trust the manufacturer since they seem to know a lot about them. And then I also got myself some of these Blackstone scoring pads. I'll leave links to all this stuff below so you can check it out. But this is just something that after a cook, once you've pushed everything back towards the back and got all your grease and all your little tidbits out of there, 
you know, next thing you know, you're gonna have just a little bit of stuff still there. You can take this scoring pad and really get it clean. And that way, you spread a little oil on it. And then next thing you know, you've got a super clean griddle, super nonstick, ready for the next cook. I got myself this six piece deluxe spatula griddle kit. And you know, this is just another one of them things where I'm just like a little kid at Christmas. I love to open this stuff, get it out of the box, especially when you know you're about to be cooking some bad, bad food, just, it's gonna be bad in a good way. Bad good, you know what I'm saying, that bad good. You know, the good bad, the bad good, the good bad. But I got my Griddle Essentials Handbook. It's gonna tell me how to do a bunch of stuff on here that maybe I don't already know. I have cooked on these before, and I have been around a lot of cooking on them, but uh, there's always room to learn. I am not a professional chef, and neither are you if you're watching this video. <laughs> so we're gonna get better together. In this kit, which I'll leave a link to below, I've, get, I've got me a Blackstone brand spray bottle, tongs. And this is the deluxe set, baby, only the best for the Smoke Nation. You know what I'm saying? Next, in the lineup of my new cool stuff, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna make a fool out of myself with these things. I'm gonna be that guy who was like, y'all ever seen uh, Beverly Hills Ninja? <laughs> Remember that old movie? He's trying to have fake being a bocce chef. But these are really cool. And these have rounded edges and sharpened edges, which are going to do good for getting underneath the food and are going to also work to reduce the amount of times that you scrape through your seasoning layer, which is something you want to avoid at all costs because that's just going to mean you got to re-season it or you're going to have an area where things are going to burn and stick. So something to think about there, that is big. Use stuff. it as a burger press. You can also use it to flip your eggs, things like that. You know, because sometimes if you got an egg, it might be spread out this wide. It's time to bring in old hoss. The main purpose of this, you've got a nice wooden handle. It's very ergonomical, fits good in the hand, and it's just gonna allow you to scrape. You don't wanna dig in. It's just a flat sort of scrape across the surface. Let the tool do the work. Right, so we've been going for a few minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and crank these babies on up, get that surface nice and hot. We're gonna let that go for a little while. What we're looking for today is discoloration in the metal. We wanna to start to see that surface get discolored. And from there, we know that what we're having is the right temp that's gonna polymerize that oil onto the metal and create a non-stick cooking surface. All right, so we're getting some discoloration there. Now what we want to do is we want to get about three paper towels. And we want to wad those up, give them a couple folds, just like that right there. Have that ready. And we've got our seasoning open and ready to go. This stuff liquefies pretty quickly. And another thing you can tell is that I don't quite have mine leveled out yet. I did move it a little bit so that I can have better access to that back edge. You just wanna just go back and forth. We expect this thing to look like a cast iron, well seasoned cast iron skillet, even though it's not cast iron, it's rolled steel by the end of this process. edges on the inside. Make sure you get them all. Watch out for dry spots. And then you start going around the outside. All right, so we're starting to see a pretty dramatic change in color. Just be careful if you grab this paper towel. That bad boy ain't cool. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's cool. But it ain't cool. I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes. To let that grease on the backside there burn off. This thing has completely changed colors. You know, when you get it, you're like, yeah, I guess Blackstone's a cool name, but it's gray. 
by the time you get done with this, guess what you got on your hands? A black stone, baby. Burn, baby, burn. And then we are going to coat it for the last time. And we're gonna be able to rock and roll then. You will come to be glad that you've got these long tongs. Because this baby right here is kicking off some serious heat. Serious heat. That's what all that smoke is for. It's a good indicator of heat. There you have it. That's your fifth coat. And we're gonna let that burn off. We're gonna let it cool down. And it'll be ready for a cook. All right, so as you can see, uh, we officially have a black stone. It has turned completely black, almost completely stopped smoking. We've got five coats. Something I wanna address while I'm making this video is that it's a common sort of misconception and sort of a urban myth that you can do the original seasoning of your blacktop with bacon and bacon grease. And in my research, I have found that that is not true. That bacon is full of sodium and nitrates. And if you don't use it all the time, if you cook bacon all the time and you're constantly cooking all the time, you know, once a day, four times a week, then you should be okay. But if you're cooking with bacon and using that as a seasoning once a month, twice a month, it's going to cause your blacktop to break down, crack, it's going to chip, it's going to have all sorts of problems that you don't want to have. And so what you want to use is an oil that reduces down and polymerizes with the blacktop metal and causes a nonstick layer. So just something to think about. You hear a lot of things from a lot of people and just try to remember that they're not always correct. So just make sure you do your research and don't do your original seasoning with bacon grease. Use the Blackstone griddle and cast iron seasoning conditioner or use some other type of oil. But definitely, if you want to use the Blackstone, check out the affiliate link that I'm going to leave below. Also, if you're interested in these premium spatulas and tools that Blackstone sells, I'll leave links to that below as well, along with links to the pads that you use to clean the metal after a cook. Well guys, I hope you took something from this video. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Uh, become a subscriber and hit the notification bell. That way you know when I come out with more exciting content uh, surrounding either this Blackstone or you know my pit ball smoker or my barrel grill. I'm always uh, putting out content revolves around those three things. We're gonna keep building that empire so that uh, we can all learn how to cook better together. Thank you so much. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below, and we'll see y'all in the next review video.